hello guys welcome back to today's tutorial so in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful simple wrap top so if it's something you would love to learn make sure you watch to the end of the video so without further ado let's jump right into the video proper so my fabric is on fold is folded into two so we are cutting the back pattern first the back piece first to get the width of your the material you are working with is quarter of your bust circumference then you add your seaming allowance so i add 1.5 to it for my seaming allowance so the next thing i'm going to do right here is to come to this top of the fabric here and i'm going to mark my neck width i'm using 2.5 for my neck width okay you can use three so i came down by one inch for the neck depth and then i connected the two dogs together so i went in to mark half of my shoulder measurement divide your shoulder by two and then mark it okay so on that point i came down by one inch for my shoulder slant we do this all the time i'm very sure you guys might have gotten used to this by now our shoulders are not straight so i'll connect the point into the neck like so so from the shoulder slope i came down to mark my arm length how to get your arm length you divide your bust by six then you add 1.5 inch to it that is how to get your arm length then i connected the two dots together with my straight ruler i also extended the line across like so after i was done i came down to mark my waist point which is 15 and I also mark the length of my top that I'll be working with. I mark 19, that is plus sewing allowance everything because I want the top to be 18 after I'm done sewing. So I went ahead to rule all the line across. So I on the chest line, I divide my bust by four. And on this line, I divide it into two equal halves to get the center, to get the midpoint. And on that point, I went in by half an inch. And I connect all the points together with my curve rule. So I came to the waist line I divided my waist measurement by four and I marked it on the waistline. This top is not going to have that because it's a wrap top. So I add 1.5 inches for seaming allowance. What I have on the waistline, I transfer it to the hemline as well. So I add 1.5 inches for seaming allowance on the chest line as well. So I went ahead to connect all the dots together. So this is basically it for the drafting of the back piece. I went ahead to cut it out. So before cutting it out, I extended the arm curve to the allowance. Like so. So I went ahead to cut it out. So if at this point you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit on the subscription button. Subscription is totally free, I promise you. Do me the honor by subscribing. Turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I drop new video. Share, like, and comment as well, okay? I promise to reply to all your comments. Thank you so much for doing that for me. So this is basically it for the cutting of drafting of the back piece we are, we are going to use this to cut the front pattern right now so i'll just bring in my material now my material is on fold make sure you add a lot of allowances to the front so the extension i have there is quarter of my waist measurement before placing after placing the back is quarter of my waist measurement so i transfer the back neck to the front and i'm going to make a straight line here it's going to serve like a guide for us so you just watch what i'm doing i make it um a straight line there so on that line i'm going to come down by six inches 
On that line, I'm going to come down by 6 inches. This is where I want my necks to stop. I don't want it to go beyond this, okay? You can go beyond this if you, if you want, but I don't want my cleavage to show. So I came up here by 3 inches. I came up here by 3 inches. And I'm going to connect all the points together this way. You can actually use your free hand to do this. Um, if you have a curve ruler, you can as well use it. Just connect it this way. And this is basically it for the front. Every other thing is the same. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut it out. So I'll just tear this up. So this is it for the front. Our front piece is ready as well. So what we're going to do now is to go ahead and sew. But before we start sewing, let us cut out our sleeve first. So my fabric is on fold here and I have two pieces of this for the both hands. So for the width of my sleeve, I'm using 16. You can do more than this. The more inches you have, the more puffy the hand will be. So it depends on what you want, okay? So on this point, I'm going to come down by five inches. Come down by five inches here. For the length of my sleeve, I'm using 14 inches, okay? So it depends on what you want to, it depends on how long or short you want it. So I'm going to connect all the way to the five inches I came down um, to, like so. So this is all for the drafting of the sleeve. There's, there's nothing, um, much about the sleeve okay just to connect it this way and then i went ahead to cut it out so this is basically it for the cutting of the buff sleeve okay so we now have the both sleeve here so this is it so i'm going to keep this aside and we we'll start sewing okay so i'm going to place my front and the back together right side facing right side this way so i'll join the shoulders with half an inch after doing that i'm going to fold the neck from the front all the way to the back with half an inch as well you can actually use your bias to do this if you want okay so i've already gone ahead to join the shoulders and i've already turned the neck from the front all the way to the back what we are going to do now is to join our our rope so I've already gone ahead to create my rope. So it's two inches wide and so 45 I'll place them inches long. I'll go ahead and sew with half an inch on both ends. Okay. I'll do the same thing here. So I've already gone ahead to join the the rope to the bodies. So what we're going to do now is to join the sleeves to the bodies. So I've already gone ahead to create where I'll pass my elastic through. So do the same thing. Go ahead and create that hole where you pass your elastic through. So I now have my elastic. I'll just insert it into the hole. After inserting your elastic, make sure you stitch it down so that it will stay in place. So we're going to fix it now into the bodies. So open up this armhole like this so that you can place them together. Right side to right side. You know the sleeve is wider than the armhole. So we are going to pleat at some point. So place them right side to right side. You sew to an extent like this and then you gather the remaining one. So make sure you gather everything to fit into the armhole okay just your normal way you gather your 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 clothes so i'll do the same thing to the both sleeves and then i'll come and show you guys so i've gone ahead to join the both sleeves to the bodies so this is how it's looking like so what i'm going to do next i'm going to bring the sleeve i'm going to bring it out this way so that we can go ahead and join the this the the side together 
so i'll just go ahead and run this stitch on it with the same allowance we use for the bodies so i've already gone ahead to do that for the boots um sleeves so this is the final look this is it guys you see how it's looking nice and beautiful this is so nice so thank you guys for staying tuned for watching to the end thank you see you in my next video bye